we are less than a month away from the release of the newest Warrior Cats book, and naturally, it's finally time to break out the red string again and start making some predictions. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Hawks, and today I'm joined by Moon Kitty, Sunnyfall, and Bright Guardian Akira. Hi. Hello. I'm Sunnyfall. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Uh, my name is Moon Kitty. You just yeah. made it so that Akira has to be Akira. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm Akira. Hi, cool. She's Moon I'm Kitty. Or, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're too many people. Yeah. No. I'm Squidward. You're Squidward. <laughs> Today, we're going to be talking about the preview for the upcoming book Shadow and giving our thoughts and theories on what we read. But I uh, don't want to start with anything too hot because uh, this time I really didn't think there was much there. Nothing egregiously bad, at least. Yeah, at least there's no uh, Nightheart chapter that was overtly horrible, but we will get to uh, the Sunbeam thing when we get there. We will cross that bridge. <laughs> we will cross that bridge when we get there. Am I supposed to remember what Frostpaw did? Do you, do you, does anyone remember what Frostpaw did? I, do I not refreshed watch. myself on it five minutes ago. Okay. Um, Frostpaw's entire chapter was about watching as Tiger Star yeah. took over their camp. Oh, yeah, no, I remember all the Tiger yeah. Star stuff. I couldn't remember it happened from Frostpaw's perspective. It was, it was Frostpaw's perspective. Um, she was mainly like a camera, though, no, no real input really from her. I don't honest. mind a camera chapter as much as I would mind a, a camera book and right. on, honestly that's what a lot of this comes down to as far as my feelings i really like these four chapters as four chapters in a book but right. i have no idea what the rest of the book is going to be like and it could skew it in either direction yeah i, I don't really i don't really feel one way about it either um uh, it, it's just um w with sky w we kind of had something to go off of there you know they were kind of baiting us with the whole uh sky clan thing and the the whatever the green cough or whatever so we we kind of had that narrative thread to follow that time but uh i i i just feel like generally there is just not as much as there was the last time to be fair there there's not as much to theorize but it is more plainly obvious for me that this book is going to have to center around uh tiger stars takeover of river clan and how they and the other clans end up dealing with that yeah. right yeah it's kind of like they read all the wiki pages for all the river clan cats before they started <laughs> no, yeah start. yeah Part yeah it is like that yeah yeah i, I i'm just kind of surprised that they even remembered that icewing was in shadow clan because that, that that seemed like I something they they would forget about i was going to say not only does it seem like something they would forget about but the them training in the dark forest together uh -huh. um and the, them being together uh before in shadow clan are both things they already did forget in literally the previous arc yeah yeah uh we, we pointed and laughed as they forgot that uh tiger heart was uh ever alive during the dark forest battle uh -huh. and uh ice wing mentioned how her poor son got trapped up in the dark forest without mentioning that she was also there <laughs> but th yeah. they know now they right. remember it for half a second. Please keep this. I would love this. Right, yeah. So, uh, Akira, hello. <laughs> Hi. Hello, Akira. <laughs> how, how, are, how are you feeling generally about things? On what, what part? I, okay. <laughs> I already generally forgot where we are. <laughs> I already forgot where we are. We're not even like 30 minutes in this thing. Um... Yeah, I mean, I don't really have any strong thoughts on the whole on the thing as a whole, but maybe on specific topics, I would have some stuff to say. Right, right. Why don't we start with the prologue then? Yes, that was exactly. I really liked that prologue. Yeah, I, I was getting to that <laughs> yeah. actually. Um, Barry Hart, little little on the nose there, just. I don't mind. Yeah, I don't mind in the slightest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the thing. It can be on the nose. It can be a little cheesy. That that's fine. It's children's literature. You're allowed to do that. Mm -hmm. But you are giving intense characterization built on backstory reasons for why this antagonist is an antagonist without being pure evil. Right. But I love it. Didn't they do that for her? Like last book, though. Like she talked to Sunbeam. Yeah, she mentioned it. Yeah. Yes, but we don't get to be in her head until now. That is true. That is a very fair point. We we get we get to see her panic. We get to see her mind flashing back to those days. Oh yeah, we, I don't think they mentioned her. that. Like, and I don't think they mentioned that she would um, almost drowned. Yeah, 
Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I, I didn't. That, but but to, to be honest, I, I didn't even know that that even happened until the prologue was there. So you know, I don't think benefit it did of happen doubt. until the prologue was there. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Because I, I only remember that that was just like Needle Tail, right? And like uh, Violet Shine, they they escaped. That that was the uh, yeah. the only time that they got drowned. So they just they just put that in there, I guess. Mm. Wait, no, no, no. Dark Tail was drowning people. Yeah, but does, no, I mean, we, but like we didn't know that Barry Hart was a victim. Right, oh. right. Yeah, I, I think no, it, was it was very like, non. Wasn't just Needle Tail and Violet Shine. Oh, no, 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 no. Like, no. That that was just that like was the, the way he killed people. Yeah, that me. that was the the explicit examples we saw on screen. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We right. know he did it to like Dawn Pelt, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, but that that, that was off screen, and I I don't I don't know. Did, did was that like his main method of killing people, or like he he it tended to enjoy drowning? Yeah. God. Man, we love Dark Tale. Love the, Vision Dark of Shadows, it's brutal. <laughs> I, I have a lot of other feelings about it, but mm -hmm. it, it sure does go well on the brutality. Although in right. a funny way, like drowning's like almost like the most PG way to like kill people. That is true. It's I true. mean you don't really you don't really gotta ride much for that. Just you know. As long as they it's don't not get as too violent. Yeah, as long as they don't get too specific and it's like from the person's POV, you know. Though it, though it's also somewhat different in a book than it would be if you were showing it visually right um because you can just say like he went for my throat uh -huh. i'm dead <laughs> and you don't have to describe anything whereas with drowning you might end up saying oh i i saw the bubbles coming up or i yeah, i yeah, heard yeah. the screaming whatever <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you could also just say oh they went underwater yeah, yeah, you I'm could not, like they, they did with one that. star <laughs> they did that with Dartel and one star yeah yeah <laughs> oh yeah yeah so anyway, uh, yeah anyway point, yeah <laughs> i like the prologue i like very hard i hope she never changes yeah and then i hope she i kind of hope she does change i, I, I hope to say to to her one day one word about needle tail one single word about needle tail uh -oh. that's all i want okay one word about needle tail go yeah that's what i want her to say i want very hard to say the word needle mm -hmm. oh mm -hmm. you want her to bring up needle tail uh-huh i I don't know if that's I don't know if that's reaching for warriors. I mean, we we we're, we're already like thankful that they even remembered that Icewing existed. You know, same, same thing with Hairlight, especially when they literally forgot it like last arc, you know, the whole I thing even I think there's happened. a difference between uh things we can expect, uh -huh. things we don't expect to happen and things, and things we, we want. We want. To happen. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. Because there are certain things that I actively expect them not to do right. and if, if if they happen I'll be pleasantly or uh unpleasantly surprised. Yeah. Um there are certain things that I don't expect them to do, but they certainly could. There uh -huh. there's no one way or the other about it to flip a coin um and there are certain things that i expect them to do that um, i want them to do um which generally mm. the the expectations fall around things that they're already setting up for instance i assume that barry hart will get a conclusion as an antagonist oh yeah without that, a doubt uh, involves settling into the rules of the warrior code and realizing that her life now is different than what it was with dark tale but historically, not every villain has been concluded, so I can't guarantee it. It's right. just something I expect to happen given their current progression. Right, right, yeah. Without a shadow of a doubt, Barry Hart definitely gonna serve as a sort of antagonistic force. This book, especially with the the emphasis that they put on her in the prologue. Uh, so yeah, she's absolutely an antagonist. I just don't know if she'll learn to ever not be an antagonist or if she'll get worse yeah never never has the has the the name barb stuck more accurately <laughs> never has that been more accurate oh barb <laughs> yeah barb yeah <laughs> poor barb should we should, should we just like not have any contact for that do i just I don't even show anything it's, on screen. It's, it's nothing. It's I made a typo. I made a typo <laughs> yeah, I because I was, I was swipe funny. sliding on my phone to try and spell very hard <laughs> instead of actually typing it, it out. So and it turned into Barb. <laughs> and so forever, Barry Hart was Barb. <laughs> That's what makes it, it was so the way funny. Of the world. Because she, she really is like that that like soccer mom that she would like know from like elementary school or something. You know, <laughs> it just fits so perfectly. But I don't think it's too much to ask for her to remember Needletail or talk about Needletail or something, say something about Needletail when her entire arc, like her entire thing, this arc, is revolving around her children and the relationships of her children. And especially calling back to Avos. Right. Um, as far as motivations. Right. Needletail not being in there would be a noticeable gap. 
yeah i i i just hope i i hope they don't um uh, what is it uh take uh take that for granted though when they actually do you know have some more callbacks in there especially when they're gonna put it so on the nose in the prologue there that oh this is the reason you know right so they're they're, they're I, I feel like there needs to be you know like you said i would love for there to be an, like more callbacks there so that we could really maybe even start to sympathize with this character who knows you know it's up in the air we have absolutely no idea what's going on at this point so if it's purposeful she doesn't mention it and and like and if someone needs to confront her about it or ask her why she doesn't say anything about it or something like that that would be great that would be fine yeah. it's really just the fact that it's a huge elephant in the room that she had a kid that was killed for, right. by by dark tail right oh wait that was her kid Oh, dude! I yeah, need... Needle Tail is very hard's daughter. Dude, I forgot about that. Not bringing up a random warrior. No, it's, this is one of her daughters' first litter. Oh god, dude! I she doesn't have about any that. other kits in her first litter. She just had Needle Tail. I forgot. I, I, sorry, one of her daughters' total Needle Tail was her first litter before yeah. before Sunbeam. Yeah. Dude, the, the... <laughs> it's like falling on deaf ears. You know, it's. In... What you think? You think? I was just saying, like, like I want her to mention Needle Tail, the <laughs> random person she knew. Well, I mean, I mean, she was there whenever Needle Tail was dying, right? I want Barry Nose I mean, that, that... to express her uh, grief and anguish over Misty Star's death because one time when they were in River Clan, I, I bet they spoke. Yeah, Barry Nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's like in one ear out the other. Sometimes, whenever it comes to <laughs> it's just remembering everything about these characters. You know, I, I, mean, I think the, the issue is that Moon and I just have um, a, a bit too much space in our heads dedicated to random useless warriors facts. Not, um, not their names, though. <laughs> not their names. Not their, hey, I, I can agree with you on that one, but it's just, I, I mean, there, there, there's a reason why it used to be like the, the list of all the characters used to be like one of the, if not like the largest Wikipedia pages like ever on the website, so, you know. I like how that when that was pointed out, someone went through and, and just like totally decimated it so it wouldn't happen again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, moving on, there is definitely more stuff to talk about, even if there is not a whole lot there <laughs> to I necessarily predict. There. I think there's so much there. <laughs> so, uh, Sunbeam, the, the Sunbeam in the room, definitely, yeah. Yeah, Nightheart moment. Oh, the sunbeam, the sunbeam in the room. Nightheart moment, by the way. <sighs> okay, it's such a relief, though. It is such a relief. I breathed such a sigh of relief, and I, I'm still holding my breath a little because they have the rest of the book and the right. rest of the series to get it wrong. Right. Um. But right now, this right here, this is it being done exactly right, and I adore it. Mm -hmm. Uh, I I want you to say what what the heck is this child doing here? Uh, we we kind of just talked for five minutes. I didn't actually love you, and Nightheart being too pushy. That that's fantastic. W what a Nightheart moment for him to just walk up there and just start professing his love to Sunbeam. You know, but not even professing and, his love. Yeah, to Sunbeam. not even to her. Professing either just... his love to her gossipy aunt, He's like, who will then tell yeah, Sunbeam. That she's yeah, in love. we're madly in love. You know, <laughs> like we went on this thing together, and like we're totally in love together now, guys. <laughs> I, i'm not mom this kid just showed she, up yeah i love i dude i love the part where she just started cringing like for, the, for that for them to write that i was waiting for her to like do something like that and then thank god i got gratified in the text i am over. happy that for this exact moment i can still say i love sunbeam i love <laughs> sunbeam to such an excessive yes. degree <laughs> so, sunbeam's chapter here was definitely the strongest out of the three for sure uh though on the other hand, kind of doubtful the way that she's kind of making up excuses for him. I, I know she was kind of put on the spot by Barry Hart at the end there, but uh, I will hold out hope for now. And I am praying that we actually get some sort of development here that uh, puts Nightheart in the hot seat, you know, and actually forces some development out of him. But, you know, well, I know we have this trials. Right, right, they're, yeah. We're gonna probably yeah. make him fail. Yeah, we'll, we'll, please, we'll get to that. Please fail the third trial, Nightheart. <laughs> or all of them. We'll get, get, to get that. out. We'll get to that. I don't that. want you here. <laughs> we'll get to that. 
I don't know how relevant it is, but like, because because anything could be happening, anything at all. But um, Spark Pelt and Finch Light being on the cover of the, the the book after this kind of makes me think that he's going home. He's Hopefully. going home. Right. He's going I... home. <laughs> Although, like, he's going home. it is also called Thunder, hmm. which implies that someone's going to be back oh, in Thunder Clan. There was a book called Sky and it didn't, you know where that went. <laughs> at, at least yeah. Sky had a cat from Sky Clan involved. Maybe Finchlight's coming to live in Shadow Clan. <laughs> Man, we're we we are a far way out from like the fourth book and dude, the blurb for Thunder, I feel like it revealed way too much for like a blurb. Uh, yeah, M most of the recent blurbs have been doing that. We found out about Tiger Star's takeover literally before uh sky came out no oh, we did did we yeah <laughs> oh god i do not remember that <laughs> yeah we, we found out tiger star was somehow going to be taking control of river clan or marching into river clan or uh ex exacting power over river clan in some fashion before uh, before sky sky right can't, sky came out okay so slight deviation here uh blurb for thunder Crossbow was told to trust no cat, but a brutal attack has left her gravely injured and she'll need to depend on someone. Mm -hmm. When help arrives in the form of a young warrior, she convinces him, emphasis him, to protect her as she follows Star Clan's cryptic directions towards the root of River Clan, where River Star, very, <laughs> very awesome of them to just include the fact that River Star is going to hold some sort of narrative significance. Well, they needed arc. to do it somehow. They yeah. were writing a super edition about him. We need <laughs> yeah. to make people buy the super edition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't imagine that if you had to like go find Ivy Pool. Right, <laughs> right. I, I honestly think that's why they ended up having to push it forward, because they definitely hadn't written the latter half of this arc by then. Oh, yeah. They, they, um, but they were probably well, banking. Well, we can't work in Riverstar now. <laughs> yeah, they were probably banking on the Ivy Pool thing. Like, oh, God. How do we, how do we, how are we going to put him in this book now, man? Like, <laughs> they're like sitting there like, oh my God. Okay. Um, Riverstar promised that she'll find the answers she's been so desperately seeking. I said that so weird. Back at the lake, the tensions between Shadow Clan and River Clan might be easing, but the peace is fragile until a Star Clan's chosen leader is found. The slightest push could lead the clans back into outright war. Back into Basically, outright war. Well... Now well, they've been to war before. The, the, true. The, the back true. into outright war could be talking about like even the broken code. Right. Right. No, there's um, not, I mean, no, yeah, there's nothing really to read into there. Yeah. Right. The, I w they, they've been through so many wars that you can be right, back right, into right, war right, every right. two seconds. Right. Yeah. I mean, they are called warriors for a reason, I guess. You know. <laughs> uh, what is it? Uh, definitely going to have something to do with Nightheart, though. And I, I, where it, where, where I, uh, Shadow like leads on to thunder i'm kind of interested to see how uh what is it frostpaw and uh nightheart come to interact with each other because at this point they, they sure they, have literally never spoken yeah to each they, other they have once. literally never said anything to each other you know and it, it's crazy that we even have this to theorize about when god it, it's it's still like a month until we even get like the third book we're talking about the fourth yeah. book now you know and i don't know so, I, yeah. I I'm I'm torn about it because on the one hand, um, I I think Nightheart is best when he's far away and not being the hero of anything. Yes, so H that him can... and Sky, those <laughs> yeah those those few chapters where he was actually not Nightheart, dude. <laughs> I loved every second he was of nothing, that. Though. Yeah. So did know. Sunbeam. <laughs> <laughs> Sunbeam, Sunbeam, honey, you can do better. <laughs> Yeah, you can do I know. So much better. I'm Don't so waiting for him. The bratty child. I am so waiting for her to dump him so hard, and it it it, it, it it'll be spectacular, you know. But you know. On the other hand, on the other Nightheart hand, Nightheart and uh, Night Nightheart and Frostpaw interacting sounds somewhat nice because then if we can get Sunbeam and Frostpaw to interact, we will be better off than in the last dark where uh, Bristle Frost and Shadow Sight had never said Literally a word never to said, each other yeah. and called themselves such close friends yep. that were ready to jump into the dark forest. No, yep. you are not. Yep. Hey, and, uh, you know, with her supposedly going on this journey off to find uh, maybe uh, River Clan's old camp, 
possibly, or uh, the, uh, the, the the cats of the park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Um, the cats of the park. Yes, cats yes, the, the cats of the park. Yes, yes. I, I would, I can't. I pray. I am praying that we get like some sort of um, modern cats of the park. Should we get like a game theory video about game this theory. somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe who knows? But yeah, I, I'm just. I don't know. I, I feel like Nightheart is. At his best, it's already cringy saying that when Nightheart isn't forcing his method of escape, you know, on other people and like having it directly affect other people's lives, you know, because whenever he he actually got to get away in Sky, I feel like those were some of the most tolerable of his chapters, to put it at the but uh, on the other the hand, very he, nicest. He explicitly felt not like Nightheart. Right. I want him to be an awful brat if that's who he is in his soul. I just right. want it to be changed by his by by his experiences and his own choices and realizations of his actions, rather than because they hit the off switch for his personality and said, You can be nice so that Sunbeam can love you. Right. Yeah, I genuinely think that those chapters in which um in which Nightheart is suddenly competent, uh -huh. um, are, are painting a really, really negative picture where the only reason the night her acted out was because his family is just so awful yeah, to him. And yeah, yeah. is just so awful to him, and I don't yeah. like that. Because, because Thunder Clan and his family are not <laughs> so awful to him. I mean, oh, completely they ignoring are. mischaracterization, completely ignoring the fact that everyone around him gets warped into this monster. It's the, the, the idea that he has nothing to work on and the only problem is a negative environment just makes him into a boring character that requires no development and requires no change absolutely yeah I, I i feel like the the narrative really bends around nightheart in that aspect and i would love for them to see him uh give him some actual sort of development there uh probably most likely through the the trials is how they're going to do that with how they're setting it up um we'll get to that um kind of just chalked on there at the end that he has to do mm. extra trials so it could be the same like deal though where like now like you know, bury her or whatever is mean to him now. Right, 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 right. But I, uh, I also hope that um, through this, they don't really. Uh, I would really not to like see him become like an anti Firestar. You know what I mean? Like an anti hero type Firestar with, you know, some some of the uh, that one article that they put out about him. Oh, you know, website people Maybe and the. Is like Firestar more than he thinks. Yeah, yeah. The the, the the website people in the uh the you know the actual like editor team totally different. But uh just having that inkling of a thought in the back of my head it is kind of just you know I don't know I, I I have a lot of doubt for the character and it's going to take a lot for me to really get to a place where I uh think that he's strong. So you know to to all the Nightheart lovers. Because I realize there are genuinely a lot of you, um, and most of you have good intentions. I would be thrilled if Nightheart becomes a character who uh, discovers that his behavior has been hurting the people around him and making them uh, act badly to him in return sometimes. Uh, and learns to grow of his own volition and progresses as a character by himself rather than just changing to a better environment. However, I have some doubts about whether or not this is the course of action, because Warriors has done one of these characters for the past uh, two arcs right. oh, yeah. that they have written, uh -huh. because we had Violet Shine first in Division of Shadows, and then we had Shadow Sight in uh, The Broken Code, yep. both of whom had worlds that warped around them to be as uh, mean and uh, awful to them as possible. Yeah, oh my solely god. Solely for the sake of making us sympathize with them and uh, excusing the character from ever having to show themselves or develop uh, right. as characters. Right. You make Which such... Which isn't interesting. <laughs> you, you make such a good point with that, because I, I, never really, I never really thought about it like that. Because, you know, just look, look, look at the way that... They had Mothwing act to Shadow Sight and the Broken Code yeah, completely yeah, out of character. It's the same symptom of this. It's it's the same thing with like Squirrel Flight and Spark Pelt, where there's literally no reason for them to be acting like that other it's than identical. to drive. Night, especially is just the Finch Shadow Sight. Yeah. Finch Light was so nice in book one. And <laughs> right. Yeah. So mean Finch Light. Finch Light is like a, a complete jerk, switch. Suddenly. Yeah. I don't. I don't know, man. Just stop changing your characters. 
yeah for, for the sake of making one character sad right you use the characters who you already know have the reason to make them sad right. and work with those right. Thornclaw is literally right there he'll <laughs> yell at you just because you got up two minutes late C come on we don't need to work squirrel flight and finch line into this they're nice people <laughs> I don't actually have a problem with um anything Squirrel Flight's done. Oh yeah, neither do I. No. Uh, like, like, legitimately, I don't even mm. like, like like if we're not like, like again, I know like number one Squirrel Flight Defense Squad over here talking about Squirrel Flight. But okay. what I am saying is, uh, I don't think that there's any like, I I don't think that there's anything really that wrong with almost anything Squirrel Flight has done or suggested. It's just after Squirrel Flight does or suggests things, especially like in the nature of trying to help Nightheart improve or in the nature of trying mm -hmm. to make sure that Nightheart passes an assessment, he then stops and thinks about it and says, curse, Squirrel Flight, I can't believe she's telling me what to do. <laughs> I should clarify. Uh, it's not the actual actions in Squirrel Flight's case that I wish to change. Mm. It's the framing of her as a bully. She, she is framed in the same way that all of his other tormentors are framed in that Oh, they're awful people and they do nothing but make my life miserable for their own amusement. Also, it's weird how heavily they rely on you have to do apprentice task Nightheart to be like the core of his like angst. Right. They make me do apprentice tasks. There are no <laughs> apprentices in the clan, but they keep giving them to me. Yeah. Does anyone remember Molepaw? Does anyone remember no. Molepaw back in Omen of the Stars? No. I remember Molepaw back in Omen... I'm writing about him. That that's not yeah. fair. <laughs> but I I remembered before that Molepaw back in Omen of the Stars. He has this lovely little moment um, when he and Cherry Paw are finally becoming apprentices, and they happen to be coming in as the only apprentices in the clan at that time, um, because the very large generation over them, Dovewing and Ivy Pool, Bumblestripe, Blossomfall, and uh, Briarlight, had all graduated a couple moons prior. Um, and uh -huh. all of the young warriors had been cycling through who had to do the apprentice duties because there were no apprentices. When Molepaw uh, was called to be made an apprentice, he halted the ceremony and said, wait, are you just doing this because you want to make me do chores, Firestar? And Firestar said, no, don't worry. <laughs> and he said, I don't want to do chores right away. Yeah. And his mentor said, that's okay. We can do something else first. Is that uh, is is that is that the dead mole paw or the or like mole, mole whisker. whisker mole whisker, mole whisker. Yeah, okay yeah okay. uh and became mole whisker in cherry fall okay. um, yeah we see a lot of him in the apprentice's quest yeah 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 um but that guy i has exactly uh as much to complain about as nightheart does sometimes um and i i i wish to uh, experience the alternate universe where we have extremely angsty, uh, angsty Molepaw for uh, all six moons of his apprenticeship. He does turn into a very serious guy. He does! He does! He's always a serious guy. Cherrypaw Cherry Paw was just bouncing around so excited to become an apprentice and he was like, no, stop, hold on, they might be using us for our work. I am not Child surprised. Labor. I am not surprised that you guys still remember who Mole Whisker is. I <laughs> I had no idea. You well, just you know Alderkart's first apprentice yeah. when he was still a warrior apprentice. Went uh, on him with the journey uh, to Skyclan. Yeah, I remember that part, but I don't. It was one of the messengers in the great battle. <laughs> so, um, Nightheart. Well, okay. Mo most of what there is to talk about with Nightheart is within Sunbeam's chapter because a lot of Night. Heart's own chapter was actually devoted to watching the gathering. Yeah. Um, Leaf Star is great. I love Leaf, Leaf Star. Leaf Star continues to slay. What's new? Leaf Star always been on top. Let's go, Leaf Star. Leaf Star is just gonna live forever at this point. I hope she lives forever. I really She's love Hawkwing, but <laughs> I, I really, I really love Hawkwing. But I, uh, I don't know. I would miss. He wouldn't make a good leader. A while. <laughs> and I, he also um... hasn't really done much since. Uh, Vision of Shadows. Is that really his fault, though? Uh, really... No, because uh, no families in Warriors are given any attention anymore unless they're your bullies. Yeah, yeah. Man, it, it's kind of kind of shocking to think... Hawkwing, like, I know he's, like, a background character, but he literally got nothing, and, like, he literally had Root Spring, like, last arc, and that chance is gone now. And there's, there's like, nothing, nothing left. 
for Hawkwing to pick at except for the bones. You know what I'm saying? Anybody? Yes, yes, I do know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Leaf Star, I would miss her presence in the narrative very severely if she went anywhere. But she uh, simultaneously also very, very old at this point. You know, we're talking like um, before Firestar. She was already like a grown. She was already grown by the time that she even joined Sky Clan she in the first place, right? She was an adult somehow. To to some extent, we don't know how old, but uh -huh. uh, an adult to some extent when a fire star came. So, um, at least around like Bramble Star's age. Okay. Um, yeah, Warrior Cats has had a pattern of like yeah. just always killing the leader that's the oldest at that given point. I mean, the longest since they've um but were promoted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I think ideally the new team doesn't actually have any idea how old Leaf Star is. That that is the <laughs> ideal. Yeah. But but here's the thing, like. As much as I genuinely do adore Leaf Star, and as much as I think that Hawkwing would be a horrible leader, actually, uh, th there is the still very present fact that Leaf Star is the only modern Sky Clan leader there has ever been, and that that should probably change at some point. That is very true. She's also the only female leader left. She's also oh God, the only she female is. leader. Please, someone get another female leader. And you leader. know that Squirrel Star isn't happening. Oh, yeah. And nobody else has <laughs> a woman in their runner-up right now, except for, you know, uh, Tiger Liberty. Star. Yeah, I mean, I feel like... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, Cloverfoot. I forgot, Cloverfoot. Clover oh, yeah, Cloverfoot. another character we forgot existed twice in no, the same video. No, second time tonight for poor Cloverfoot. <laughs> Half of the current deputies are women. Because there are only four leaders and four deputies mm -hmm. right now. Oh yeah, that is um, true. And then there are two regent leaders in uh, River Clan who are both she cats. But I don't know if either of them is. Well, I mean, <laughs> you know that Clover <laughs> is ever going to become Clover Star. Like, like yeah, I've like, 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 already done it with Clover Hair Star. Is, is nuts. Right. They, they, they've already done the we're going to make a background character a leader thing with Hair Star, and they're not going to do it again. <laughs> oh God, don't. Don't remind me of the Twitter polls. Mm -hmm. The don't. fandom has decided who Hairstar is, but the books have <laughs> no clue who Hairstar is. I feel like the only reason Hairstar is there because they couldn't get Crowfeather in there fast enough. Exactly. That is so true. <laughs> yeah, they, they had to make room for like one super edition so that people would stop asking about it. They, they wanted one super edition of character growth that he was due since the new prophecy. Right, but it came at the sacrifice of his son. So... <laughs> they literally like you know, drew a circle was, around him. His son was already dead. His, his, his son... <laughs> Breeze Pelt deserved that book. <sighs> I, like, Pelt like, I'm saying it blatantly. If they wanted Breeze Pelt to not be the same cat that he was at the end of Doubling Silence, then the cat who deserved that so book he gets was to do Breeze it. Pelt. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the idea that they made an entire super edition about Crowfeather that skips over whatever the heck happened to Breeze Pelt to make him not want to kill his dad anymore. Like, like, we don't know. We have no, like, it doesn't even tell us what's up there, you know? It's just, right. Yeah. It literally has to lie about his actions in order to make him out to be a great cat now. Yeah. <laughs> one, one star says he's never fought a wing clan cat, so that absolves him of his guilt. He, literally that was like wise, th that, that was, was the only the yeah. only cat <laughs> yeah. he fought yeah. he, he was never seen in any other camp but win class <laughs> exactly read your own books guys they don't they don't they really don't <laughs> please i know you don't have time i know you have less than enough time but goodness <laughs> <laughs> anyway breeze pelt has nothing to do with this gathering. This is a gathering where all five leaders come together because Leafstar called it and said, hey, Tigerstar, how dare you take over another clan's territory? And he said, it's fine, actually. I'm not really taking over. I, this is nothing like what that Tigerstar the first did. I, I'm doing something completely unique and different. I'm placing a different leader in charge right now as a temporary measure until they get their own leader. But but you attacked them. You you attacked them in their own camp. Yes, I know, but they wouldn't back down and give me their camp without a fight. So I was given <laughs> no choice but to attack them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, the 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 the, the, the sort of calm after the, the, the storm there where Tiger Star just like like visceral, uh, viscerally like obliterates them in like the last book. Like that that last chapter, he's literally like pushing them up against the walls of their camp right and he's like 
you know, grr, you know, <laughs> he's like, he's really exercising that power just to, you know, hey guys, uh, so we're going back to ShadowClan now, uh, gonna leave uh, Cloverfoot here, um, if you remember Cloverfoot, uh, we certainly don't, so, <laughs> here's Cloverfoot for the rest of the book, probably, so. Oh, it, it is a pretty massive power move though he he's saying here is um the most loyal to me of your warriors and my loyal deputy who has never said a word against me uh these two are gonna be your leaders now because i defeated you in fair combat oh yeah oh, God. and i don't really care about you so i'm going to leave these two in charge while i go deal with the clan i do care about and take care of my children yeah god you're 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 making you're reminding me that whatever this God, whenever this preview came out, Moon and I were talking for like 40 minutes and I was making absolutely no sense and I was just sucking so much copium. <laughs> she, she was I'm right. I'm sorry for beating you up. <laughs> but, you no, were... no, no, no. Like, like, like my, my, my general point was, was uh, I don't even remember. Just yeah, I, I don't remember. remember. I, I love I, Tiger I Star. Your point. Here's my problem. Tiger I love Star. Tiger Star. I think that Tiger Star has been fantastic this arc, and everything that he has done has been in line with what Tiger Star would be doing. And I, I like genuinely, I, I just, I just love that we have this character now because he's not, um, he's not evil he's not he's not tiger star the first he thinks he's doing the right thing and in doing the right thing he is seeming incredibly antagonistic towards everyone who isn't in his clan so it's just it's it's very um like he's very morally morally gray right now and morally I, dubious uh, yeah yeah it, th this is why i this is the precise reason why i love tiger star and Barry heart so much and why i am totally fine with the idea that we would get no antagonists besides these two. First oh, of all, yeah. we've been due for an in-clan antagonist for an awfully long time. Someone who was not a rogue or a random guy coming in to say, hey, I'm evil, I'm going to attack you now. But also, they're they're not just evil guys who are killing you because they feel like being evil today. <laughs> they they think they have reasons, they think they're fighting for greater good, and they, they believe that what they're doing is entirely justified. Right. Right. And I love it. Right. You know, when when the villains have a point to make, the heroes can talk to them and we can have a debate about it. We right. can defend our own morals right, and right, right. say why they would be correct. Right, right, right. Uh, yeah, Moon, I think it was, it was something about the politics and how you're old and I'm not and you like politics more. <laughs> so oh good. yeah, I know. See, but like that's the thing is that I like say the first arc, right? Where we're looking at like just to take Tiger Star as separation of Thunder Clan, right? Tiger uh, not Tiger Star, Tiger Claw is a senior warrior with a lot of a lot of friends and a lot of influence. He's got long tail, dark stripe, and dust paw kind of in his corner. And in in in, in such he uh, he kind of has this like this subgenre of the clan who subgenre is such a bad word for this. He's got a subsection of the clan who is uh, vehemently against the choices that Blue Star has been making and things like that. And I I what I can see it, it, the potential that I can see in something like Tiger Star creating a regent is that we now have a a divide between. Um, there will be we're going to have a divide between River Clan with Ice Wing and who don't. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we're we're creating like a like a like a like a political situation where yeah. we have cats in River Clan who do not like what Tiger Star has done. Tiger Star is trying to help. He's doing it in a way that would be deemed aggressive by Thunder Clan standards, but. Tiger Star is making an attempt to help, but in doing so, he is a electing a a, a, a regent who is who, who is in his corner. B leaving a governor there who is actually his corner, and um, that's immediately going to make the cats in 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 River Clan distrust suspicious each other. Interesting, yeah. yeah. And it's not like they weren't already suspicious of each other because of the whole three deaths in a row thing. So. <laughs> But we're probably going to find out what was happening in that situation in this book. Ideally, it's the yeah. One. It's as far out as they would have planned. Yeah. I find this to be so much more interesting than a fight scene. 
fight scenes are brutal, but this is where character drama comes in. Because now you have cats who are naturally loyal to each other, distrusting each other, and being able to openly talk about that. And that leads to interesting relationships, which oh. force us to see the personalities and values of the cats involved. Yes, interesting, yes. interesting relationships and warrior cats. What a new concept. <sighs> I mean, I know I'm just gonna. I know I know that it's not gonna happen, and they're not even gonna focus on the regents, and and that it's it's just gonna be like, I, like it could even get resolved halfway through the book randomly because that's just the way it goes. But for now, I've got my hopes up a little bit. That that's where the hesitant excitement comes from. <laughs> if if the whole book ends up being like this, I will be thrilled. Starless Clan, one of my favorite arcs, fantastic. Uh, we're we're not uh we're we're at that kind of book three honeymoon phase so you know <laughs> uh, we'll see we'll see we'll see I I thought Broken Co was a good arc and then Darkness Within came out oh yeah me yeah. and Shattered Sky are making out Hello? you you and Shattered what Sky can say? make out over there what I gave up say? on you after uh, Thunder and Shadow came out <laughs> what did she say you're you're making uh, out with she, the she... book. With yeah, the book, the Shattered, Shattered Sky. Sky. She loves Shattered, Shattered Sky. Sky. Yeah, yeah, because I, I you, also you explicitly that. remember that that is a guy in the books, like an actual character. Like, <laughs> I, I was so yeah. confused. I swear to God, like, I swear that Shattered Sky is a person. I swear, it's like a Dawn of the Clans person. I, I don't know. Shattered remember. Ice. Is it, is it yeah, Shattered Ice? Shattered Ice is yeah. uh, uh, a Wind Clan, <laughs> well, uh, Moorland. Uh, turned Riverlands cat. Oh yeah, that's he right. Invented tunneling and was known long after his death. Oh for yeah, that's right. Dude, that he invented tunneling, dude. but not for anything in Riverland. <laughs> My tiny brain just like short circuited there for a second. I was like, "What did she just say?" Talking about. I would not make out with Shattered Ice. He is a cat. Yes, you would make out with Shattered Scott. That's a book. That's a book. It's Making out with books is much more acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> I I will platonically hug the apprentice's quest, and you can go make out with Shattered Sky. I like that one too. Okay, but the apprentice's <laughs> quest is the good book. I'm gonna keep that. One. Okay. Well, okay, we're not gonna bring this into a Never video. Never mind. <laughs> oh my god, guys, uh, Sunny Fall does not like Shattered Sky. She does not think. Sunny Fall does not like a vision of shadows. Shattered Sky is the best of oh, the worst. Oh my god, Sunny Fall! I really like that scene where Twig Branch sh throws Softpaw over a wall of fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, what book did that I, I will idly think about it when somebody says something bad about A Vision of Shadows. I'll be like, yeah, A Vision of Shadows sucks, but God, Twig Branch throws, throws an apprentice over a wall of fire in that book. Oh, yeah. Wasn't that, wasn't that during, like, their, like, fire, 30, yeah, 30 millionth fire that struck? Oh, my God, guys, it's a fire. We're not running out of things to put in this book. <sighs> fire. I'm going to make a map about Twig Branch throwing a girl over a wall of fire and nothing else. <laughs> You it's know, just gonna that, be thirty animators all animating Twig Brand um, <laughs> throwing soft paw over a wall of fire. That would be awesome. That would make it more appealing because at least then I'd be able to see it. <laughs> that would be awesome. Do do it like uh, what is it? Oh god, that 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 uh, that one big map that just came out where uh, it's like it's like they're all like in the the corners or whatever, and they're all like squared off. It's just it's the one that literally just came out. I, I know what you're talking about. Why um, can I not remember that? I feel like, I feel so bad for not. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> on the book that we're talking about. Oh yeah, we oh, are just, talking about a book. You're talking about Starkland's Chosen? Yes, Starkland's Chosen, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Hey, there you go. Map ideas. So, so thing that I'm doing right now is I'm going back and specifically looking at, and I know it doesn't matter, and I know they threw a bunch of random names in there without thinking about it, but I'm curious into looking at which specific warriors said, yes, that's a great idea, to Barry Hart's proposal about the three tests. Oh, God. Uh, didn't, didn't she have, like, her sort of, like, moms against, like, Canada moment where she's just, like, chilling with, like, a bunch of people? And they're well, all, they're, she, like, in this particular instance, kinda. she didn't bring uh, a group into it. Uh, people just agreed with her. Was but, it at a so, gathering? It was at the gathering. Star yes. says Night, that Night sounds... Oh, in, in specifically in the preview. Specifically in the preview. Okay. Um, she said it's uh, too Finch easy Light... to switch plans. Oh, Wait, no, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Finchlight says that uh, is the one with the idea. Yeah, Finchlight is the one that, that that comes up with the whole. Yeah. Uh oh, you got to do two more things because we need to have a thing to, to do plans, for you. Very hard announced. 
any cat can declare they're in love with one another, then pass one easy test. Surely this is an invitation to cats who want to cross trouble or who haven't really left their old clan behind. Um, she seems to be arguing for the uh, let's make it near impossible thing. Right. Um, so, no, we won't go back to the old way. Um, I just think we need a safeguard against cats who are doing it for frivolous reasons or maybe to spy on their new clan. More murmuring, but broke out among the cats in the clearing. Nightheart could see that several of them, including Yarrowleaf and Whirlpelt uh, from his new clan. His new clan. You are not part of a clan yet, Nightheart. You're getting a little ahead of yourself. <laughs> Why do they keep um, doing this to poor Whirlpelt? <laughs> we're nodding agreement with Berryheart. So her 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 mother's against um, problems uh, are, are in fact with her, but they're only nodding silent agreement while her son and French Whisker let their pelts brush it with anger. Right. Um, uh, it's tough enough to leave your clan in the only home you've known, says Crowfeather, who would do that for a whim. Um, Mouse Whisker, Mouse Whisker says, oh, "Did they remember that he liked that that girl in River Clan? Did they remember?" But it's that? worth making absolutely sure that a cat is loyal to their new clan. Mouse no, Whisker pointed Mouse out, "Mouse Whisker, That's the only way they should be accepted is members." Oh no, no! How did he forget? I agree. Birchfall, the Dark Forest trainee meow, oh, supporting his clanmate. It shouldn't be too easy. Why? Okay, but Birchfall being conservative is so. You know that it's, that's true. You know it's true. Oh, of course God, it is. He's Dustin Mouse Sun Whisker. And Nightwing's uh, mate. Yeah, of course oh, he is. Oh, Mouse Whisker, they forgot him <laughs> so hard. Okay, but the Mouse Whisker you're thinking of existed in precisely one scene. I know. Fifteen years ago. I know. But I it's want him not back. even him Bring anymore. Him back. Make make night. Uh, make the cat he functionally <laughs> is to the new team is uh, Daisy's child. Yeah, you know they, they which just, is closer. They got the dartboard out and they just started chucking it with like a blindfold on. Like, mm, wh which background character can I literally just <laughs> pull out of a hat just to have them it's, say yeah, one thing to agree? Put in a name here. Finchlight says, "Why don't we make it three tasks instead of one?" Uh -huh. Um, it sounds sensible, says Hair Star. Uh, Bramble Star and Leaf Star added their agreement, uh, and all the leaders turned to gaze at Tiger Star. He hesitated, then gave a brisk nod. Fine, we'll do that. He meowed. And they better be tough tasks, Berryheart growled. Um, a shiver then went through Nightheart because he somehow realized Berryheart really didn't want me in her clan. Wow, oh, what yeah. gave you that idea, Nightheart? <laughs> <laughs> You're such an insightful cat. He doesn't like. And he also is like upset when like Finchlight is the one that comes up with the idea. Like, how oh, dare my sister want me back? <laughs> oh yeah, want, want, want to like see me again? <laughs> but, buddy, yeah, she like, make me do her chores. You, you were accusing her of not wanting you back three seconds ago. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, I made a tweet <laughs> about your that. Problem? Where was it? <laughs> what did he say? He said it was something so like it so absurd. It, it, it was this one. <laughs> one line what is it okay for a few moments nightheart had begun to believe that his family was really missing him but then he realized that finchlight really didn't care about him at all <laughs> like that is just so like comically absurd that just that jump is so nightheart you know they, you could just tell they did not care at all they were just like oh yeah i want you to be a horrible bratty boy i want you to be a horrible bratty boy nightheart as long as there's development where you eventually learn who you are and take steps to stop being a bratty boy i mean yeah. this would be delightful you can stay a bratty boy as long as they punish him for it real <laughs> continuously punishing the main character uh for a a series of traits that they never grow out of just seems uh, a, a little yeah. stock for six books worth of time well, well for now <laughs> true, true i i don't need him to change right away certainly yeah might I add, on, an, on another note, a very sophisticated voice you gave Barb there earlier. I would not imagine. <laughs> <laughs> that is quite the compliment to Barb on that I, one. You Just know, I, put that I, out. Barb is British now. <laughs> Barb is the sort of person who I think would specifically put on a British accent because she thinks it makes her sound more serious and mature. Oh, God, that would be so Barb. She actually is. That would Let's be not so forget, though, that all the cats are British. Right? Every cat is actually British. That is true. British. Yeah. That is yes. true. T Tiger Heart is just deep, grisly British. Don't forget about those British mountain lions, okay? <laughs> <laughs> what What do the British mountain lions sound like, Moon? Could you Could you voice act a British mountain lion for us? Absolutely not. <laughs> oh wait, yes, I can. Hold on. 
Yes. There we go. Extremely uh, British. <laughs> yeah. Somebody's going to sample that. You're going to hear it in like five Twitter videos. Doubtful. <laughs> I have said some stuff. <laughs> you, you have said some stuff that manages to not get around. Then some stuff that you don't think will get around will. That is true. That is the nature of the internet, after all. My patrons have been passing around a picture of me saying I want to sell babies. Um, and <laughs> I was talking about the, the pet website Pixel Cats End. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, selling the babies, the babies uh, that you have generated from your other cats on Pixel Cats. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's like Flight Rising, but you can't sell babies. Uh, it's 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 the worst. You you <laughs> want the ability to sell babies because yes. that would make the site more appealing to you. Anyways, <laughs> warrior cats. Warriors. Yeah, we are still talking about warrior cats. Yeah. Um, I think we get, keep getting off track because there's um. There is literally nothing here. There, there's not as much plot to cover. Yeah. There, there's there's lots of adorable. There was something, and things. we covered it. That is it's true. true. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Not not a whole lot of substance here with this I one. love the characters, though. I love their interactions. I hope they stay this way. Yeah. Right, we didn't talk about Alanos, I guess. <gasps> Al oh, Alanos! yeah. Alanos. Kind of, kind of, they really kind of wadded it up. Wadded them up. <laughs> they kind of, oh, I, I can't, my brain can't do that. Okay. They kind of really wadded him up and, like, tossed him in the garbage, like, immediately. I Good. love it. I, I think you love that? Great, I think it's he's a, a great he's place a, for he's him. A, well, he's just a, just a little... <laughs> little soy he's boy. Insecure little, guy. Little he's a sad boy. and insecure little boy who has lost all faith in himself and says, well, okay, I guess Tiger Star would make a better leader than me. <laughs> oh, God. God, <laughs> I hate that so much. I love it so much because it's so owl nose. So owl it's not nose. good for River Clan. It's not even good for him, but it's so owl nose. Little soy boy owl nose. Poor, poor little boy. <laughs> this is a pathetic man I do respect. <laughs> Astro enjoyers are looking at you very sternly. <laughs> I'm gonna say um, Nightheart gets kicked out of Shadow Clan and he goes to River Clan. I guess. No, he goes to River Clan. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I he has to meet up with Frost. Now. He has to meet up with Frostpaw for the quest, right? <laughs> oh Christ! <laughs> <laughs> so maybe what actually happens then is that he gets kicked out of Shadow Clan. Um, he goes back to ThunderClan, and then the beginning of the next book has him being so upset about being in gosh darn ThunderClan again that he chooses to go to RiverClan um, and pick the first warrior he sees and says that he's in love with them. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, Nightheart's world tour. I feel like <laughs> Nightheart's, they're just going to pass him around the, 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 whole, the whole time. And uh, by the time oh, we gosh, get to WinClan... Playing hot potato. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Um, Nightheart showed up. He's it's his our turn this week. Yeah, they're... really. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, I was enjoying the peace and quiet. Oh, Wind Clan hasn't got had a turn yet. <laughs> you know, Come on, Mom, give Wind Clan a turn. I did it last week. <laughs> Nightheart and Splashtail might be the ship of the century. Thinking about it, they haven't interacted, right. but they are the same age, which is more than I can say about any of these other characters. That is true. That is true. They're also both uh, men, which makes the ship more appealing. See, no, it takes Nightheart away from Sunbeam, and it takes Splashtail away from Frostpaw, and that's kind exactly. of my ideal. I know, but they're they're there's literally don't don't put Sunbeam with Frostpaw. By the way, just. For anyone who may have gotten that that's idea, not, that's she is a not, child. No, not no. what I was going for. Yeah, she just child. not not you, but for anyone who may be thinking it, n no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wonder if Frostpaw's even going to like become a warrior. Like, I mean, we could get her name. I mean, not not become a warrior. Well, I mean, get okay, her, get her um, name because there's no like force that would give her her name because she yeah, yeah that's true. Her by that's her true. age, by like the amount of time that has physically passed. She shouldn't be one for another few moons. Um, by what the book is telling us, she's ready to become one right yeah. now. Right. By her like, competence as a medicine yeah. cat, she should be waiting for a bit. But like, um, yeah, we know <laughs> she still like will have her apprentice name in book four, and we know like right now she says she's so she has so <laughs> little confidence in her medicine like abilities that she would probably refuse a warrior name. If, I mean, refuse a medicine name if they tried to yeah. give it to her. At, at this moment, she's unconfident in her abilities to lead this clan and her ability to connect to Star Clan and in her ability to function. <gasps> Sorry, I did think of another thing to talk about, and it's, it's um, minorly off comp topic. It's it's a jump, but I think we forgot to mention it for Frostpaw's chapter. Which is 
Frostpaw when she considers that she doesn't think she actually has a connection with Star Clan and that she doesn't think she's going to oh. um, be able to be a medicine cat in the way that yeah. Clan needs. What she says and what made me stand up and cheer internally, I didn't do it <laughs> actually because I was in a public place, but <laughs> is that she said, I, I could still be a healer like Mothwing, but it's not what River Clan needs. She has Mothwing as a mentor and realizes how a, a, a Star Clan connection isn't always necessary to be a healer for your clanmates. She still has a place in that. Mm -hmm. But the, the issue is that River Clan does need a connection to Star Clan right now because of their situation. Anyway. And so ends the preachy creators. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, do the, do the like thing, do the subscribe thing. You know the drill. Ringling that bell. R yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, right. only um, twenty percent of you are subscribed. Right. Guys. Remember, only two percent of viewers are subscribed to <laughs> Channel Hawks. <laughs> so true. But yeah, uh, everybody's channel gonna be up on screen right now probably if i don't forget to do it uh subscribe to them yeah you know the drill <laughs> <laughs> okay uh thanks for watching and bye everyone i guess well uh, have, yep yep bye bye